The morning of October 22nd, I had actually biked past the War Memorial on my way to work. And over the last couple of days, the previous couple of days, I had written a couple of stories about uh, the attack in uh, near Montreal uh, that had killed another Canadian soldier. And I'd also written a lot about the, uh, the mission in Iraq and Syria and kind of concerns that the Canadian forces and the government had uh, about threats to Canadian soldiers here in Canada. And so funny, strangely, as I was biking past here, I did look up uh, and, and assume that I saw Corporal Cirillo uh, and Corporal Stevenson both standing here. And for some reason, I thought at that time, um, you know, if, if something, it, it kind of occurred to me that something could happen here. Anyways, I biked past and uh, went to the office. We did our story meeting and uh, and didn't think anything of it until I got on Twitter a couple of minutes after our story meeting ended at about 9.30, 9.45. And uh, at that point, I saw that there were two reports, uh, at, uh, first two reports of shootings at the uh, War Memorial. War Memorial. Uh, they weren't confirmed at the time, but anyway, so without thinking, of course, th at that point, I remembered what I thought, grabbed my tape recorder, grabbed my, uh, my uh, notepad and everything and just kind of ran out the door, told my uh, Mark, my uh, bureau chief, Mark Kennedy, where I was going. So I ran down um, Queen Street, came up on the War Memorial, and uh, at that point, that's when I actually saw Corporal Cirillo uh, lying on the ground. Uh, a number of people were trying to save him at that point in time. To me, it just looked like he'd, he was sleeping. It didn't look, you know, I, I wasn't even sure exactly what had happened. Um, but there were a number of witnesses uh, who were obviously quite shaken up. So it started Again, kind of doing what we do, start interviewing uh, the witnesses, trying to find out what was what had happened. Uh, we got a whole bunch of different stories. You know, some people said there was one guy. Some people said there was two people. Some people said that the shooter had jumped over the fence at, at uh, Parliament Hill yeah, and gone up to Parliament Hill. Some people said he jumped into a car and took off down Wellington. Um, you know, some people said he had a mask. Some people said he didn't. It was it was just kind of all over the place. And uh, anyway, so we start uh, we're, and. and Police start showing up, EMS starts showing up, and um, you know, still weren't sure exactly what was happening. But then at one point, I remember, uh, you know, the there's a police officer who showed up, and he kind of came across, and there was a whole bunch of people, obviously journalists and everyone uh, here on the plaza, and he said, uh, "You're all in danger. There, we don't have a suspect in custody." And it kind of at that point, it started, you know, it really occurred to me that, you know, who knows what was going on, and it was the first time that I kind of started thinking, you know, just I guess the the real gravity of the situation uh, hit me, and so. Basically, we started. The police started pushing us away from the war memorial, pushed us down to Chateau Laurier, and then there was the rumors about possible shooter on uh, on Parliament Hill, on on the buildings of Parliament buildings, uh, or sorry, on the roof of Parliament buildings. And so they they pushed us behind Chateau Laurier. Uh, at one point, I did went into the Chateau Laurier garage with a number of other reporters, um, and we could see Parliament Hill. Couldn't see very much, but uh, could see the patrols and things, the police kind of patrolling along the Rideau Canal and whatnot. And uh, for the rest of the day. I was basically stuck in Chateau Laurier. The, the police pushed everyone past, and I was kind of inside of the uh, the perimeter, if you would, will, and could see kind of again the EMS and things. And one of one of the the uh, my uh, the most visual moments that are one of the memories that I have that's most visual was at one point I was in a stairwell in Chateau Laurier, and it was evening. It was the sun was starting to set, and I could I looked down, uh, and the entire plaza, the whole downtown area here was kind of becoming in shadow and it was deserted and you could see there's there's some police uh, police um, uh, vans and trucks and things kind of right around the war memorial and the tomb of the unknown soldier um, but it was just eerie because I'd never seen you know downtown that empty before and uh, anyways it was again like everyone else says it was a day I'll never forget